hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to draft a pants trouser if this is something you're interested in keep on watching if you're new here thank you for joining please hit on the subscribe button if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much all right let's get started first things first i'm going to be drawing a three inches vertical and horizontal line and that is because i'm going to be drafting the front and the back pattern together so we need that space for the extension of the back pattern all right i see that i had to add paper that's because the initial paper couldn't give me the trouser length i'll be working with so i had to extend it <music> Now that that is done, let's begin proper. So now what I'm going to do is mark my waist to hip length. So automatically that line has become my waistline, okay? So the hip length I'm working with is 9 inches. I'm going to mark and proceed to roll out a line on the marked points. <music> Now the next thing to do is to mark out the crotch depth measurement. You can call it crotch depth, crotch length, whichever one you choose to call it, okay? And this trouser is going to be a high waist trouser. So the crotch depth measurement we're going to be working with is the hip divided by 4 plus 3 inches, okay? In the previous video where I showed how to draft a short pant with side pockets, I also told you the different ways you can get your crotch measurements okay and what i'm writing down here this hip divided by four is for a low waist trouser that's how you get your crotch measurement for a low waist trouser but for a high waist trouser you're going to add three inches to it okay so it's going to be your hip divided by four plus three inches i hope you get it so the measurement i'm working with divided by 4 is 10.75 so plus 3 inches is 13.75 so i'm going to go ahead to mark that out and really line on the max points as well i'm just going to proceed to label the lines the crotch the hip and the waistline I'm going to divide the round hip measurement by 4, mark it on the hip, the waist and the crotch line and the 3 inches vertical line from the side that I just pointed is going to serve as the side front, okay? So once I'm done marking these points, I'm going to roll a line on the marked points with the straight ruler, so just watch. Now to the crotch part, we're going to be marking out the crotch extension which gives that L-shaped curve you usually see in trouser patterns, okay? And the calculation for that is the hip divided by 20 for the front pattern, while for the back, it is the hip divided by 10, okay? I wrote 40 here but I corrected it later on, that was a mistake. So after you divide your hip measurement by 20, you mark it right outside the line the straight line that we just drew from the waist down to the crotch and then also mark 0 0.25 on the hip line point just as i've pointed and proceed to use your pattern curve to connect the points and make sure it blends into the straight line so just watch what i'm doing <music> So now that that is done, the next thing I'm going to do is proceed to mark out the trouser length. Okay, sorry that my things are just all over the place. This seems like one chaotic video, but forgive me. All right, so we already know that from the waistline to the crotch line, I have 13.75. 
so i'm just going to place my tape at 13.75 which is the crotch line and mark out what my trouser length is and trouser length i'm working with is 40 inches so i'm just that's what i'm just doing here and i'm going to be adding a two inches hem allowance that's the only allowance i added here okay there is no side allowance so when you're cutting on your fabric remember to add all of that okay so just watch the process <music> Now the next measurement to mark out is the knee length and to do that whatever you have from your crotch line to the trouser length not the hem allowance the trouser length divide that by two which is the midpoint you mark it out and you go up by 1.5 inch okay let me take that again measure what you have from the crotch line there to the trouser length just as you see me doing divide that by two just as you can see mark that out and then go up by 1.5 inch now i'm just going to measure what i have from the crotch line to the 1.5 inch mark just as you can see and then i'll remark it in order to have a straight line which will then become our knee line and i'll proceed to label <music> Moving on, we're going to measure what we have on the crotch line and mark out the midpoint. And whatever it is we have, we're going to mark it on the knee line and on the trouser length as well. <music> This line that I just drew from the midpoint of the crotch down to the trouser length is what we call the green line. So I'm just going to go ahead to label that. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to mark out the round waist measurement divided by 4. And if you'll be adding your dad, you can add your required dad allowance. For instance, um, if you're a plus size, you'll be using a dad allowance of 1.5. And if you're a normal size, you'll be using a dad allowance of 1 inch. Okay, but for me, I won't be adding any darts to this trouser. After that is done, I'm going to connect that point to the hip line. Okay, just as you see me doing. Alright. And... Because I won't be adding any darts to this trouser, it doesn't mean I won't explain how to go about adding darts. So I'm still going to do that. Alright. And for that, all you have to do is mark from your center front your nipple to nipple measurements divided by two. And your center front is where you have the crotch extension curve. And you mark that out for the length of the front dart i always like to use 4.5 inches i guess that's like standard either 4 or 4.5 inches but if i'll be adding darts i personally like to use 4.5 inches so you proceed to do that and whatever you dart allowance is you share it equally on both sides just like we do on a normal blouse or skirts okay and you draw your darts leg now the next thing we're going to do is to divide the round knee measurement by four and impute it on both sides of that straight line just as i've pointed okay and for me the round knee measurement was 19 divided by four i had 4.75 so i'm imputing it on both sides the 4.75 just as you can see 
now i'm going to be adding 0 0.5 inch for ease but if you want it to be really fitted you don't need to do this but if you want a little bit of ease you can add that or even as less as 0 0.25 all right and i'm going to go ahead to connect it to the crotch line just as you can see Now what I'm going to do is extend what I have on the knee down to the trouser length but if you want it really fitted at the hem of your trouser you can just measure the circumference of your ankle divided by four just like we did for the knee and put it on both sides of the straight line but a basic trouser is not really always that fitted so it's advisable to just put what you have on your knee on your trouser length unless you want to start struggling with nylon anytime you want to wear your trouser all right so i'm just going to extend what i have on my knee line down to the trouser length So this is a basic pants trouser pattern but this is not what i'm making out of this okay so i'm going to alter it now i just thought to use the opportunity to give an in-depth explanation on how to draft a basic pants trouser so now i'm going to be adding 2.5 inches on both sides of the trouser just as you see me do because at the hem it's not going to be fitted it's not even going to be having a little bit of ease it's going to be very free okay so now this 2.5 that i added if you want it to be extra you could add more all right and if you also want it to be a palazzo you extend it up to the crotch line but my client wants it to be fitted down to the knee point and then from there it can now be as free as a bird okay so now i'm just going to extend the 2.5 inch down to the knee point as you see me do and yeah that's it next thing to do now is to give the hem of this trouser a nice shape because if we cut it out like this and so it is just going to be pointing on the floor like that so what i'm going to do is go up with three quarter of an inch on both sides and use my curve ruler to just blend it from the side to the grain line just giving it a more rounded shape so yeah just watch what i'm doing Now the last thing to do for the front part of this trouser pattern is to do the slope on the waistline and I'll be coming down by one inch and use my straight ruler to connect it to the side front just as you can see. And if you're going to be adding darts, you have to close your darts before you draw the slope line, okay? Easy breezy. After that, I'm just going to go ahead to blend the hip to crotch area. As you can see, it's looking straight. so. I'm just going to use my curve ruler to give it a nice blend over there. And that is basically all for the front pattern of your pants trouser. Now to the back pattern, I'm going to be using the red marker for that so it can be easily differentiated and no one gets confused. So I'm going to mark one inch on the crotch line just as you can see me do from that straight line that we drew from the waist down to the crotch just as you can see and i'm also going to mark two inches inward as well on the waistline and i'll use my straight ruler to connect the points make sure to extend the line when connecting the points just as you can see i drew the line to get to the top of the paper 
now the next thing i'm going to do is mark 1.5 inches upwards remember i told you the reason why we left the three inches space was because we we're going to have an extension for the back so here it says mark 1.5 inch upwards and proceed to mark your waist measurement divided by four and if you are be adding your dart allowance you can also proceed to do that and then draw a line with your ruler and when drawing the line with your ruler do not let it lap on the previous line with the black marker go up by half of an inch and then draw your line as you can see mine there is a gap there of about half an inch between the black line and the red line i hope that makes sense now the next thing i'm going to do is extend the hip and the crotch line outwards okay so now you're seeing the reason why we left the three inches space horizontally and vertically it's coming to play now now from the one inch that we went inwards by on the crotch line just as i pointed i'm going to mark the round hip measurements divided by four and afterwards i'm going to measure what i have on that point that i just placed my finger on and i'm going to mark that on the hip line i have about one inch there and afterwards i'm going to use my ruler to connect that point up to the waistline <laughs> next thing to do is to go ahead and mark out the crotch extension for the back and we're going to be marking it from the one inch line that i just pointed and remember i told you that for the back it's still going to be your hip divided by 10 that's how you're going to get the crotch extension so for this i have 4.3 and i'm going to mark that out I'm also going to mark 0.25 on the hip line just like we did for the front as well and then proceed to use my pattern curve to make a curve just like we did for the front. <laughs> After that is done, I'm going to mark half an inch on the knee line and the trouser length and proceed to use my ruler to really line all the way down. <laughs> So this is what we have here i'm sorry my phone did not capture it while i was doing it so this is basically all for the trouser pattern so when you want to cut this out i do not have an extra paper if not i would have done that but i'm going to explain to you how to go about that since we have both the front and the back pattern here on the same paper you're going to get another brown pattern paper get your tracing wheel and that is it in my hand there that's what the tracing wheel looks like and then you trace out you pick whichever one you want to trace out either the front or the back pattern and then you follow through the lines just like i'm showing you okay you don't need to put you don't need to trace out the horizontal lines and the green line those ones in the middle it's like waste of time honestly so you just go all the way like that and press it hard enough on the other paper the paper beneath so that you see the tiny dots that you trace out not so hard to tear the paper okay and afterwards you go ahead and use your marker or your pencil and your ruler and trace out what you have on the other paper underneath and proceed to cut out so this is the pattern already cut out as you can see i have this is the back pattern that i cut out I forgot to show you how to cut out the band from the pattern before I cut it out so I just thought to drop this here before ending the video all right so on the waist you're going to come down by 1.5 inch and mark it all round from the side front of the waist to the center front just as you'll be seeing me do and then you roll your line across 
if your trouser is going to have a dart you have to close the darts before you roll the line okay and then label the side back band and the center back band and also when you cut out your band from your front pattern you'd also love to label because it can get really confusing and we want to avoid that okay so in my next video i will show you how to tape both the front and the back band with your masking tape to make it one and cut on the fabric all right this is basically all for today's video thank you so much for watching thank you so much for sticking around please do not forget to like share comment if you have any questions please do leave it in the comment section and subscribe thank you so much i love you guys